Okay, hi guys. Welcome to Cheyong channel. Today, I'll be teaching you guys on how to do certain parts of the hand crank torch. So firstly, I'm going to teach you guys on the green color part, which is... Okay, so firstly, we need to boss extrude that part. So as you can see from this side, this is the metallic part. Yeah. So after you do the metallic part, right, you just draw a circle. So this circle is, radius is 28. After drawing the circle, right, you need to boss extrude. So how much did I boss extrude? I boss extrude by 10.6. After boss extruding, you need to cut extrude. You need to draw the curvy part. So how do I draw this? Okay, so firstly, right, for this, you just need to use the linear sketch pattern. Under linear sketch pattern, you choose circular sketch pattern. So for this, right, you just need to draw this part. Let me show you this part. You use the sketch tool, line tool, and draw this and this one. Wait, can you guys see? And this one. Wait. Let me show you guys. Yeah, it's this, the short line, and this one. This one. You just need to draw these two lines, then you use the circular linear sketch pattern which is here. You press this, then press this as well. So as you can see, there's a very big circle, right? So you need to draw this, there's a point here, you need to drag it up. Mm, you see? After dragging it up, you just like fit this circle into this space so you can see the dotted lines right yep so after um uh, setting it in place you just need to choose here it's not for rigid um what i put was about 10 or like 20. so afterwards here this part you insert the correct amount then you just press tick then you have the uh, the pattern out ready after this you just need to cut extra you can see at the side, you can't extrude by. You can't extrude by one point two. Okay, so after this, you need to cut extrude again because there's a hole, and you need to put the rod in. So how I did this part was. So on this surface, right, you create a new sketch. Then the radius of the circle is one point nine. So how did I draw the circle, right? Was I convert entity from the, the circle beneath. So can you see this circle? Yeah, so I create new sketch here. Then I convert entity, the bottom circle. Yep. Why did I pause and shoot twice? Yeah. Hmm. So you just need to make sure and ensure that there's a hole there. Yes, and yeah, close the eye. Yeah, so we are in the eye. Let me check. Mm. So you just need to cut and shoot to have the hole in the middle. Mm. Then afterwards, right? I need to have this rod. So how did I do it? I I convert entity again. So as you can see, this part right, I convert entity the circle. We need to have two circles to, in order to boss edge through the rod. So you convert entity the rod here at the sketch surface. Then 
you can box extrude bit. Mm. Then you see you can box extrude the rod. Wait a minute. Mm. Afterwards, I created a new plane. New plane, where is it? The new plane. Mm, the new plane is in the center, as you can see. Why do I post? Mm. Okay, so for this part, right? I, okay, so for this spiky part, I drew a circle. So as you can see, wait a minute, I think I should go up. No, it's here. Okay, so for this, is more complicated. You need to draw a circle from here. Radius is 39. Wait, let me close it. Then on the circle surface itself, right? You also do the same linear sketch pattern, which is circular. Then you see, you draw these two, one and two. Then you use the same method, the circular sketch pattern. Yeah. Then you boss extrude by by 1.7 because initially I used cut extrude but it didn't work there was an error then also the same you need to create a hole here so you convert you know you don't convert entity you draw a hole this measurement of the hole is 1.9 okay so you might ask me how much did I boss extrude let me check so I boss extrude by 19. Okay, so I end up filleting everything. Okay, so don't forget to extrude to fillet this part. I fillet this part by 1 mm. So yeah, that's about it. That's how I do the linear sketch pattern parts. I'll see you in the next video. Do like and subscribe for more SOLIDWORKS content. Thank you and see you. Bye!